thank you very, very much to the Sports Tech Belgium to welcome us here on stage. And first of all, I'd like to thank you, Roberto Martinez, also for the warm introduction by mentioning scanning individual development of players, because that's actually what uh, I will be talking about today. And that's what Scarab Sports has been um, created with uh, those values. So uh, we started three years ago at Ghent University and now we're, uh, we had the product on the market. Um, but first of all, I'd like to answer a question, uh, ask a question to you guys. You see here six great legends of the, of the football and there's, only, there's one thing that these guys have in common and I can say that it's not the great physical aspect or the great physical strength of these players. It's the cognition and seeing the game 10 steps ahead of everyone else. And that makes them much greater than just the good players. Um, that's why Scarab Sports said that scanning is not only looking around, it's scanning is to make and to know what's happening around you, to make a certain decision and translate it into a correct action. So to say it really easy, you have looking, but you also have looking, looking, and that's what we want to trigger. So um, we found out during the research that there is everything available on physical and medical aspects of a football player, where you know yeah, all the data, Roberto Martinez told it already, we want to go to another dimension and we really want to find the link between the cognitive side of a football player and the technical side. Um, as said, you can have a very smart player, but if he can't translate it into a technical action, not really useful in match, vice versa, street footballer that can juggle 1000 times, it's very nice, but if he don't see the game and don't think, then it's not good as well. So we need that link and that's why we developed our technology that will um, trigger the next scientifically based loop. It's starting by observing, following by orienting yourself in the space. Then you make a decision and you act accordingly. That happens every moment of the game with every player. And some players does that do that much faster than others. And those are the Kevin De Bruyne's of this world. We want not only to screen that specific skill. We also know that in youth development is important to train that skill. So we want a tool that can screen it by gathering data on what the player does in the specific drills. We want to use the tool to create different and various training exercises. And very important last part is also the rehabilitation. Now we see that players when they start in the gym, they go too soon to the team training and then you create a hostile environment where players can have more um, risk of a new injury because of tackles or uh, physical challenges. So we can create with the tool a reactive ball technical environment where players can have match stimuli by uh, light impulses so they can start working back on the basics, start react on impulses and act with a technical action before going back to the team trainings. Um, I will short show the product, but on the website every, everywhere there is m more information and more footage uh, to view or we will glad to, to um, enlarge on the topic later on. Um, the, the technology itself is a basic rebound board, as we all know them. Even we see clubs that just put tables on the ground where you have to hit it. We put sensors in it and lights so that we can really find the link between a cognitive impulse and a technical action. Because thanks to the rebound capabilities, we have um, ball interaction in all the exercises. We link that to an application. The application gathers the data. Um, and next to the data gathering, it's just like fit lights and the blaze pods. You can set up all the exercises you want with all kinds of modifications and uh, you're good to go in training, in rehab and in uh, screening of your players. I won't hold you too much. I think five minutes is more than enough. So thank you very much and uh, hope to see and talk soon uh, later on the day. Thanks. Thank you, Tanguy.